Hey everyone, this is Lola Reddy from Abstract Music Lab and today we're working with the break from Rufus the Saw on my knees and it sounds like this, this is the original. And now the recreation. Both at the same time. Pretty damn close, right? I'm really happy with this one. Uh, this was a request that I got here in the channel. So if you have any recommendations, feel free to send here in the comment section below. And also post it here if you like this tutorial as well. And if you did, hit the like button. If you loved it, hit the subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you want to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee or you can buy my preset pack, both available here in the description and in the top right corner. But enough of the talking and as usual, let's get down to business. Let's get down to the sound design. So this is going to be a three layer sound design. We're going to start here with serum. This is the initial serum. We're going to first maximize it over here. This is going to be a really simple layer. This is going to just be a sine wave. We're going to put this two octaves down and it sounds like this. Not what we want, but we're going to pick the LFO over here. We're going to put to envelope we're Going to put the rate to one eighth and we're going to put this here at 25% over here. And this one, we're going to put this at the 75% mark. And now this one is going to automate the level over here. So all the way up. And that's it for the sub. We only have to make sure that this is not loud enough. So in the mix, what we're going to do afterwards, we're going to put this a little bit quieter. Now let's go to the second layer, which is going to be the chord. The chord is really important here that you pay attention to the notes that we're playing, because this is what basically is doing the sound of the chord. So you can have the MIDI here as well, so you can check it afterwards. But let's get started with the sound design. We're going to start here with a serum. It's going to be a sawtooth. Let me maximize this again. It's going to be a sawtooth and a square wave. There we go. So the sawtooth is going to remain at the same zero. The unison is going to go to five and the detune is going to go to 0.16. Now the level is going to go to 77%. There you go. Now oscillator B is going to go one octaves up. The detune and unison are going to remain the same. And the level here is going to go at 79, 69%. Sorry. Pretty crowded, right? So what we have to do here to control the sound a little bit, we're just going to start with the filter. We're going to choose here a low 24, not MG low. And we're going to put here A and B. We're going to put the cutoff here to 978. There we go, something like this. The resonance is going to go to zero and the drive is going to go to 18. You can see that this even distorts the sound a little bit and you probably can hear a little bit of distortion in the sound as well. So what we're going to do here, we're going to pick the master and put it to minus 12.7. just to make it sound a little bit better. Now we're going to also go into the envelope and into the LFO section. So in the envelope section, everything's going to remain the same, but the release is going to go to 65 milliseconds. There you go. LFO, it's going to be the same exact curve that we did for the first layer. So this one is going to go at 75 envelope 0.8, but we're not doing anything to it right now. So in the effects section, we're going to go here and choose hyper and dimension hyper at 26%. And we're going to open up this sound a lot with the dimension size all the way down and mix of the dimension is going to go to 85%. You can see that this pretty much opens the sound. So before and after sounds a lot more wide, right? Now this is going to completely crush the sound. We're going to have to lower the volume even a little bit more. We're going to choose a diode one. And the drive is going to go here at 60%. I'm just going to lower the sound a little bit because this is going to make it even louder. Completely crush the sound, right? And not as close as what we want, but we're going to keep on going chorus in the chorus here. We're going to put everything is going to remain the same, but this is going to go here at 44%. Just kind of creates a little bit more turbulence in the sound. And now, this is how we're going to start developing the sound filter. 
MG low 12, and this is going to control the sound a lot. Frequency here at 88 hertz. There you go. We can barely listen to anything, so now we're going to increase the drive here to 37. Gets a little bit better, and we're going to put this back to minus 12.7, 61%. Now, resonance is going to remain the same. The cutoff as it is, and now with this LFO, we're going to put this over here and put it to 13. So it's going to create that wobbling effect that you're listening to in the original. But it has too much low end over there, right? And we already have a sub. So just going to come here with an EQ, a low cut and a bell curve. So the low cut is going to have a Q of 41%. And the frequency is going to go at 177. Boom. Taking that low end out. And now we're going to create a little bit more mud by putting this at 586. The Q is going to go here at 40% and the gain at 4.1. Without it. And with it. The last step that we're going to do over here, we're just going to pick a 4 dB cut, a 48 dB cut, or a four times. And we're going to put this here to 2000, just to make sure that there are no frequencies passing by 2000. It just filters the sound a little bit. And that's what we want with this sound. And that's it for this one. We're going now to the last sound of it, which is sort of a M1 organ pluck. And we're going to do it here in Serum as well. So Let's maximize this again. We're going to start here by choosing two sine waves. And we're not doing FM with it. For this time, we're just going to put this first one all the way down to minus two and this one to minus one plus seven. And you can see that you're already going to have a little bit of the sound that you want. It's the sound, but it's not technically how it the envelope that we need to have. So in the envelope, this is the first time that I feel that we're using the hold over here. And we're going to put the hold here to 108. Basically, this is going to hold the sound for 108 milliseconds until it starts decaying. We're going to put the sustain all the way down. And that's why this is going to make a difference. Now here, in the decay, we're going to put this to 468. There you go, something like this. Perfectly. And the release is going to go to 202, 202, boom. Pretty boring, not doing any much of the sound that we want, but filter MG low 12. We're going to go here to 13,242. So yeah, big, yeah, something like this is enough. Resonance at 15% and the drive at 17. Not what we want, right? But now in the effects section, hyper dimension, the hyper is going to go here at 24% again. This is going to open up the sound a little bit more just to intensify it. You can see that it makes it a little bit more detuned. Now reverb, and this is what is going to make that sound that we want that more ethereal kind of vibe. Size as it is, decay is going to go to 5.2. The low cut is going to go to 22%. The high cut is going to remain the same, spin and depth all the same. And the mix over here is going to go to 79%. This is the kind of ethereal vibe that we listen in the original. Now, again, the only thing that we need is that it's a little bit too loud. So what we're going to do here, it's going to take a little bit of the low end. I'm going to put here at 446. There you go. Q is going to go at 43%. And we're going to use a low cut over here. You can see that it already filters that low end over there, but this is too quiet. So I'm going to put this to point minus three. There you go. Point zero three. You can see that without it, there's a lot of frequencies over there, right? Now, lastly, a high cut as well. We're going to put this to 41%. And the frequency here is going to go to 1286. 
1286. Because we don't need that high frequency over there. We just want the poo. And that's it. Now, if we join the first two layers. You can see that the sub was too loud still. And that's why we're putting here the sub to minus nine. And if we compare it to the original. Possibly we did a little bit too much of cut over here. So I'm just going to dial back a little bit. And that's it. I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you liked it, as usual, you can grab all the presets, midis, and everything over here in the description below. And if you have any recommendations, put it here in the comment section below as well. And I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you loved it, hit the subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos from Abstract. And I see you in the next Abstract video next week. Ciao.